Big thanks to Kamada Joe for sponsoring this episode. If you're not using this technique on your barbecue, you're missing out. I'm not kidding. The first time that I used this technique on my barbecue, I finally got the result that I was looking for. I've used wok burners in the past. And when you use the specific wok burners that have enough BTUs to blow a hole in your pan, then you know you can create the flavors that you need for wok flavors. You must have been to one of those restaurants where they served food out of a wok and they had this specific flavor that you only get in these restaurants. Well, you can do that at home. Just as long as you're willing to pull that thing out of the garage, fire it up and put a wok pan on it. For the people that don't know what woking is, it involves high temperatures and a carbon pan that is super, super nonstick, super smooth. You move it around, food gets cooked in it, you use these devices, turn on the heat, get crazy and get cooking. And it's not stir frying. High temperatures. Of course, I selected a beautiful steak to show you the magic of this technique. This is a black Angus skirt steak. It's a bit on the tougher side, but it has a lot of intramuscular fat and a lot of flavor. When you're walking, you need to do the preparations first. That's why I'm gonna chop all of this meat up into thin slices. I'm creating the maximum amount of surface that I can get on these steaks. I want each and every little bit to have a beautiful crust on it. And I also prepared all of the ingredients that I'm gonna need for my sauce and for my noodle dish. Now we can heat up our wok and start cooking. And this is my favorite grill to wok on. It's the Kamada Joe Big Joe. And look, it has a magic feature. It's like it's made for woking. Look at this thing, round circle over open fire. And we can create a lot of heat in this grill because it's ceramic. So let's load it up with charcoal, put a couple of fire starters in and light it up. The barbecue is now extremely hot. We got all of those red glowing charcoal embers sitting at the bottom. I can just quickly hold my hand over it, but not for a long period of time. Now it's time to put this pan on. You can see that the pan starts smoking immediately, which means the fire is crazy hot. I'm gonna burn off the old seasoning and put some new seasoning on. This way I'm sure that I got the perfect smooth wok pan. Now we're going to fry our steak. So I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of oil and then add the skirt steak. I'm now woking my steaks, but I don't want to put all the steaks in, so I'm gonna do batches. That way I still have enough energy from the fire to get a beautiful crust on my steak while I'm cooking them really, really quick. The steak is done. Now it's time to move on to the sauce. And Lee Kum Ki has one of the best sauces you can find. And this is the black bean sauce. But my favorite is the black pepper sauce. And the problem with that is that it isn't always available. So I'm gonna show you how you can make your own at home and even better. First step is to toast black peppercorns. And this is five tablespoons of black peppercorns. Toasting is super important. It will make the pepper more mild and more flavorful. Next, I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of peanut oil to fry my onions in, followed by the garlic. Make sure you don't burn them. You just need to soften them up. Now I'm gonna add three tablespoons of tomato puree paste. I'm gonna let that fry up. And I want it to get a little darker, but I'm not gonna let it burn. It will make the tomatoes more sweet. Once it's got that nice dark red color, I'm gonna add three cups of chicken broth. Now it's turning into a sauce. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of soy sauce, and four tablespoons of sweet soy sauce. I'm gonna add the ground black pepper back in. And our sauce is done. Look at that color that we just created. A beautiful sauce, nice and thick. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? Of course, I need to try this to make sure it's the right consistency and the right quality. Mm. That is one freaking amazing, delicious black pepper sauce. Now all I need to do is finish this cook off strong. That's why I'm making noodles. Oil in, onions in. Bell peppers in. And the reason why wok vegetables are so tasty is because they're fried on the outside but still a little bit raw and crunchy on the inside. It's all about the arm movement. 
of flipping this around, stirring it up. Now I'm gonna add meat. My homemade black pepper sauce, stir that up. And now just a splash of water to get things steaming. A little bit of homemade noodles, and then you're done. I've been watching this for an hour. Oh, and I'm levitating. I want to eat this. Here we go. Two things. Black pepper sauce, wok technique. That stands out in this dish. The flavor that I got right here is the flavor that you get from this technique. Of course, the black pepper sauce is freaking delicious, but the technique puts the flavor on the food. Mm. Nothing beats the wok. Nothing. Come at us with a different technique that beats the wok. I'm sorry. You can grill, you can smoke, you can sear, you can freeze your steak, you can dry age it. But the wok never goes, I don't know. You want everything out of the wok, not just the meat. It's the veggies and the noodles. You all want it together. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, right? I know, you should be, you could be an Asian dog. The dog is not going to be Asian because the food. You're not. You're not going to be Asian either. Why? Yeah, that's I a good to. question. Yeah, I want to be. It actually can be. If this I thing. want to be Asian, I can be Asian. That's true. This is so delicious. Yeah. Like the good thing if you make something like this and you make your own sauce, you might think, wow, there's a lot of oil going into this, but a lot of oil is used up in the cooking, and you need that oil to mix everything together, because that paste has to get onto every little bit of noodle that you got. So that turns into this beautiful color. That's where it's at. How do you like the veggies and mm. the grilled flavor of the veggies? Mm -hmm. That's mm. that's technique. We didn't put any flavor on the veggies. No, just it's just flames. grilled. Yeah, flames. Flames, hot pan, hot oil, veggies, crunchy on the outside, crispy on the no, fresh and bright on the inside. Cr crunchy and soft at the same time. Yeah, it's weird. Fully cooked, but still crunchy. Do you want to leave? You can take the plate. I'll because leave. Here's going to be the next video that you guys get to enjoy. Make sure you give it a try. Fire up your grill, get the wok out, get it crazy hot, get to cooking, and let me know what you made. Let me know what you think of this dish. Big thanks to the patrons and the YouTube members. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, eat smakelijk. Come on, guys. Like, when I say, until then, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling. That's how it's supposed to be. Can, can we for once be a team? Pitmaster X and team, or like the team? But you're the real master. We're all masters in our own field.